Okay, so six year anniversary for Dokkan is at its conclusion. With that, we've gotten some brand new Easy A free to play units. So I thought I would make a tier list. I don't think I've done this before, but a tier list for all the free to play Easy A units that are out currently at the moment, ranking them from the best to the worst. Try to be as accurate as I can. Now, I do want to preface, this is in my opinion, of course, I'll link the tier list at the end of the stream, in the, the video description on YouTube, whatever, for you guys to, you know, send me your tier list if you think yours is different to mine. Also, the way I'm looking at it is mostly towards a free-to-play only specific kind of way. A unit does get extra points if it works well with, you know, the meta teams, pay-to-play units. But that is not the most important thing in my eyes. We are live on twitch.tv forward slash jfanta. If you haven't followed me, make sure you do so. Link is in the description. And um, if you're on YouTube, like the video and subscribe. Just to remind you guys, sometimes people tend to forget. Let's start things off. We've got Ella, Easy A, Goku first start. We're just going to go in order. Doesn't really matter too much. Ella, Easy A, Goku is an S tier. I think we're going to save the Z tier for the special special, but I think it's like breaching S tier. You don't want to fill up the Z tier too much, so I'm going to put it at S tier. It's going to be, spoiler alert, the highest unit on the S tier, I think. It might change my mind soon. But the only issues is, I mean, he's Lynx. Big Dammy, that's all you can say. Big Dammy, good leader skill. Cooler, AGL Cooler. For now, he's going to go to the S tier. It's very easy to verse Goku's family. A lot of super battle raids that he in is included. Uh, you verse a lot of Goku's family, which means it's an instant debuff. And he also stacks defense. And he's also type effective, so he's going to still be dishing out some damage. Good Link set. Ella Freezer, easy Z tier. Unlike Goku, he has a beautiful Link set. I think extreme leaders are a little bit more valued in the free-to-play scene since we already have all these super units with such good leader skills. Also, greatly lowering attack and defense I find is more valuable than uh, the critical chance and the raised attack, I think, is what Goku has in his 18 key. So yeah, I like LF Freeze a lot more better than Goku. I mean, is that a surprise? I don't think so. Um, we are moving on to Goku Jr. He's aged poorly. Uh, he's terrible in first slot. His categories, I mean, it is, he's mad. He's mad at this point. So, I mean, I, I, what can you expect when he's like one of the first ones? Android 13 is a B tier. Ella Tech Hercule is our next unit. A reason to not like him, one is that his defense passive just expires after three turns, which is absolutely nothing. Then you only rely on his stacking ability from his 18 key. Uh, and then also his dodging ability, which he does need to take a hit first. For the time being, I'm going to put him in high A. Uh, usually when I use him, he's just instantly floating. Even in Earthlings, he's instantly floating. I just don't see much value on him being in the main rotation as much. And for an LR EZA, that's pretty, that's pretty tough. In Trunks, into EZA Trunks, I'm probably going to put him in C tier. Oh, obviously higher than Goku Jr. Vegeta Jr. He's definitely better than Goku Jr., but... Same same problem with Goku, he's just outdated. Uh, Thousand Day Goku, definitely overrated. I don't think he's better than Ella Prime Battle Goku. But he's still defensively good, so I'll give him that. Uh, I think he just relies on too much orbs, and I still say that. I said that in the 5-9 gaming tier list. Ella Kid Gohan. I don't know how many Z tiers I want on this tier list. If he's with Goku, which is super easy, that's instant damage reduction. Uh, it's, it, it, the only bad thing is, again, he's Lynx. I think I'm just going to put him S tier here. In order to use his full capabilities, he only has to, he has to be ran in either Goku's family, a super team, or giant eight power. While Goku can at least be ran in way more teams. So Goku does get the extra points. This is where the extra points comes into my favor when it comes to linking up working in a pay-to-play team. Uh, Raditz is a... A tier. AoE, AoE is still nice. Super battle road. Uh, although he doesn't have that many super battle roads, but... I mean, he's so useful at the end of the day. 
I think useful. He only gets A because he's useful. <laughs> Easy A, Gohan is probably the worst one out of the bunch. Uh, his defense is based on orbs. He doesn't have raised defense. Like, at least, I believe, was it? Goku Jr. has raised defense for one turn for his super attack mechanic. Vegeta Jr. has raised defense. Well, this guy has raised allies' attack or, or raised own attack. Planet Epic Saga is weak as well, so. Kai Ken Goku. I wouldn't put him at high C. He's so strong. Like, don't get me wrong. He's hella strong. It's just that he requires a Piccolo. I might move him into B. Uh, we'll see how the tier list is form at the end of the day. If we need a move, because we might have too many Cs. So it's like more balanced. But right now, I'm just going to state how bad he is right now. If, if it didn't require Piccolo, or if they released a better Piccolo, then... Uh, I would I would consider him being a lot more higher, but Piccolo doesn't have. There's only like one movie here is Piccolo, I believe. Ella, Easy A, Goku. Probably put him in S right now. I've never really used him. Actually, he goes A. I think requiring Gohan Kid is a little tough. He supports really nice, but there's so many other good support units anyway. I think he just goes A. His link set sucks as well. AGL Piccolo. I think Stu is a B. He still raised defense after his supers. He's healing. He's orb changing. N Namekians need a boost ASAP. And then he'd be even shining. But yeah, he's an average unit. That's where B goes. Rubrian goes in A. Peppy Girl's leader. She is the go-to for free to play. Uh, she gets so much attack and defense boost if you run her in the Peppy Girls, which is the way you should only run her. Or, in special case scenarios, special pose. And she's very strong. Actually, very defensively strong and very, like, attack power strong. It's actually pretty impressive there. Blue Goku, with the whole Realm of Gods thing coming up. I think there's still B, and I think Vegeta is definitely a higher B. I think Vegeta is actually way more better than Goku. Like, you'd think, like, since they both released at the same time, that they are, like, near the same. But I think there's a big gap. Uh, it's just because he gets more defense when he... That's it. Literally the defense. And you can see from this pattern how much defense matters sometimes. Uh, while Goku's defense only matters if you're versing movie bosses, which is honestly very rare. Is it, is it just me, or is it very rare to find movie bosses enemies these days? GT, Goku, oh, almost the worst. If Shadow Dragon Saga had some free-to-play rep, I think he'd be even higher. To activate his, I think, orb changing, you need to verse a Shadow Dragon Saga. I've never ran this guy ever. Ever. Like, I ran Vegeta. I ran Goku Jr. Never ran this guy. I've stopped using EZA Gohan. He raises uh, allies defense, which is nice. Frieza, you know what? I'm going to give him S. I think out of all the AoE units, he's probably the best one. Amazing links. E easy as frick to get his full passive. Uh, every, literally majority of his super battle roads that you can run him on, you are versing three enemies or more, which means he's like, um, super attack is just more effective in terms of percentage of HP of the enemy. Very, very strong. Double super, and that get, that guy is doing a lot of damage. And it's so easy, because lowering defense is, like, the most common debuff you can do to an enemy. Gogeta? B tier. All right. Vegeta and Trunks. High B. Still useful. They're still the best Vegeta's family leader. He, he raises defense very slowly. Um, long events... There's too many other units to bring besides him. His transformation is not that beneficial. Unless it is the final hit. Or the second last hit. Usually I just transform him. Because, you know, I, that's the last time I'm going to see him. While Goku and Gohan. Maybe I'm going to invite him B. Invite him A. <laughs> Looks like a too big of a difference. <laughs> uh, yeah, Goku and Gohan is... Uh... Okay, so Vegeta and Trunks, I moved them up to A. And then Goku and Gohan is a high S. Support is, to this day, very important. I mean, this card will stay relevant 
until there is just another better Goki's Family support. So many good categories. Raise defense, lower attack, you know, utility. While Vegeta and Trunks, not so great. When they, they just raise their attack and defense, which, I mean, if you want another stronger unit, you can just run somebody else. Ghost Tanks is S. Um, probably better than second form. Orb changing. Double super is defensively good. Rainbow orbs healing. Candy Vegito. <laughs> Candy Vegito. Alright, let's actually be honest. Look, Candy Vegito can go up here on a good day, but then go down here on a bad day. It's too hard to put him anywhere. It just depends what your day is like. That's the tough part about him. So I'm just gonna put him A. I'm just gonna put him A. I have no reasoning just because, like, sometimes he can be here, sometimes he can be here. So right here, right in the dab middle, all right? If you have the right setup, he can be very, very good. Like, if you can find a way to get tech orbs on deck, he can be, one, very strong, and two, defensively good. But that requires just you feeding him tech orbs every single time. Is Kid Broly's, like... He's like B. He's so he's still good. It's I just don't I can't find a use for him sometimes. He's only got two categories, so I'll give him I'll give him just the lower B. Vegeta and Raditz. Like there. Definitely worse than Brawly. Uh it's just that he, their passive requires too much. It's very it's uh too hard to obtain. Literally never have used them other than Ultimate Clash because they were extreme AGL. Zamasu's like... Just... It's like right next to Hercule. I don't know what's better. Because on the one hand, Zamasu has better categories. Like he fits in more teams and he works well in Super Battle Road when versing multiple enemies. You can get triple lower attack if you are lucky. Herky, on the other hand, is just like looking at the card a better unit, but he doesn't have the categories to back himself up like that. Herky is a monster in Super Battle Road too, but what Super Battle Roads do you run him on? There's only one, and that's Majin Buu Saga. You know what I mean? Herky has stuns, but that means you have to go for his 12 key, which then he means he becomes a little bit less defensive. So what do you sacrifice at that point? Lord Slug's like S, bro. Heal backs under 30% HP. Medium chance of stunning. Gets more attack and defense if you're versing two or more enemies, which is perfect for Super Battle Road. Freaking amazing links, Nightmare, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses. Int Freezer's like... Here. Int Freezer's like literally one of the best... TUR easy ace. He might even be Z as like a TUR. Maybe we start moving up some units to Z to fill it up a little bit. But then does the does the does the ranking of Z lose its value? In Super Battle Royale, this guy takes no damage. When I was using this guy on extreme ESBR, this guy took no damage. I was like, wow. He lowers attack, raises his own attack. So he's going to be do doing some good damage by end game. God, damage reduction. Support as well. The good link set. He has fierce battle. He's insane. He's kitted out, dude. And Goku's family is yeah, it's very easy to easy to find. All right, so Kukunsa and Rosie, we're going to go at the same time. Um, they're both next to Ribrian. They all rely on each other, so it it's kind of necessary for them to be all together. But if I was to rank them together, uh, it would be Ribrian first, Rosie second, uh, and then Kukunsa is the lowest of them all. But not to say anything bad about them. They're still useful. She still lowers attack. She still stuns. Very important. She seals. She raises defense. Very tanky. I think River Ranch is more valuable because early game's a bit better for them, for her, and she's the leader. Super Saiyan 3 Goku is a very strong. I think it is a somewhat of a downgrade when he does transform, in a way. 
has a unit super attack, which is good. I think I think A is solid A. The problem is you need Hercule, and then Hercule doesn't link up with Super Saiyan or with Spirit Bomb Goku, and then it's just like this weird, weird issue you have. All right, we're getting to the final part. Hercule and Boo. Higher than Gohan. Best defensive. Easy A. 40% damage reduction. Uh, support. Raise defense. Lower attack. Very good early game. Perfect third spot unit. Uh, and then if required, he can be second and first slot, depending on your situation. Most of the time, you're putting it in the first slot, so you don't get hit that many times. Only issue is... Because it's a Majin Buu Saga support, and how the team's built, kind of like no links. I'd say, I'd say that's the only issue. And then when he transforms, he's a defensive beast. That if you run him on with uh, if you have Goku or Hercule, guards everything, so he's just even more of a tank anyway. And he's still a support when he transforms. So it's not like a, it's not like losing value. When he, when he does transform, unless you didn't do, like, three supers in. That's about it. And he can dodge. That's always good. Like, he tanks God of Destruction event if you just activate the Whis. Literally. Because of the damage reduction, stack of on damage reduction. But, of course, late game in God of, God of Destruction event, he won't do well. But, Oob is like, I like him, but I hate him at the same time. Like, Oob is very strong in LGE. Because you're obviously versing Gokus. He's always going to get guard. A Goku event is now just... You don't... It's not that hard anymore, Goku event. So it doesn't... He's like not a necessary unit. Uh, World tournament category as well. You don't verse that many. He's pretty nice. In, in Super Battle, he can be nice. Like in Majin Buu Saga, he's good early game because he'll still have that type effective as long as you keep Goku alive or Resurrected Warriors end game because Goku's in there. But it's still... And, and he stuns, does help. But bad links... And just too restrictive on getting that guard. And then you do have to put him in first slot if you want his full power. Which can be very, very scary. Still. I think he goes right here. Right here. Actually, we'll put him down just a little bit more. I think uh, the trio actually really good. Bardock's like B. Bardock, it's two... You have to verse Wicked Bloodlines and then two... I think it was two or more enemies... To get his full thing going, that's literally in almost impossible to get his full like thing going. Unless it's like a Doken event. What event that he can go on where you're versing a Wicked Bloodlines and two or more enemies? Medical or Doken event. Wow, like <laughs> great, awesome. <laughs> Super class SBR. Yes, true. But I definitely I ain't definitely running him. I ain't running him. And it's only for one battle. <laughs> no way. So yeah, it's it's too hard. Super Saiyan's SBR. The man's not Super Saiyan. <laughs> I meant like what he can actually go in. Krillin, Krillin, Krillin. At the end of the day, this Krillin's useless. Except for Ultimate Clash. And except for God of Destruction event where you want type advantage. And STR Super Battle Road. But when it comes to categories, this man never gets picked. Rarely over LR Krillin. I'll put him low B. It's just... One, he can't be ran on Earthlings unless you actually sacrifice LR Krillin as a leader. Turtle School, he pretty much can't be run. You really just want to run LR Krillin at that point. Battle of Wits is like his only category that he works with. And then he's restricted to Ultimate Clash, Super Battle Road. And then Physical Guard Destructions. And then even if you do run him under type neutral, it is RNG based. I'd rather I'd rather run like if I was to say in Easy A, either Kenny Vegito or Krillin, I'd run Kenny Vegito. All right, and now for the final four units, the four brand new units from the six year anniversary. So, Tien and Roshi, why are they good? Lowering attack, ceiling, support, somewhat defensively and good damage, somewhat good link skills. They work well with Go Freezer because Go Freezer needs lowering attack to buff him up. Plus the 40% goes a long way. Plus key support makes it easier for him to super attack. In a free-to-play only scenario, 
maybe not so good. Their real value only comes from representative Universe 7, which in the free-to-play team scenario isn't the best team yet. So they're going to be S tier, or they're going to be lower than Boo and Margin, uh, Boo and Hercule. I think they're still lower than Goku and Gohan. Remember, I'm more looking at this on the free-to-play side. I know that some people would put them Z tier just because how good representative Universe Seven is. But you gotta like if you haven't seen the representative of free-to-play for free-to-play is uh, on today's video, you should definitely check that out. Low S. Yeah, yeah, acting like a low S is, like, bad. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I think Gotenks is a little bit worse than Tien Roshi. But that's probably cutting it close. Like, this is cutting it close. This right here, the switch between this and this, is cutting it close for me. And as much as I love Krillin 18, they aren't... They aren't necessarily... They're... Okay. I don't know. When I posted that video, people were like, what are you talking about? Literally, Krillin 18 is the strongest free-to-play T1 in the game. But at the end of the day, they still need to build up somewhat. They aren't the best linking in the world. They do have to run with Tiana Roshi, which I would... Like, in the representative Universe 7 team, T Krillin 18 actually flowed out. But that doesn't take away that they are the strongest EZA for TUR. Free to play. See, now this guy. This guy. This guy is a Z tier. This is the difference between Tien and Roshi and UI Goku. Stack attack and defense. Support. Realm of Gods. Links. Actually so strong. The only thing that's bad about him is that... You cannot run into UI Goku or STR LR, which in some cases is all right. In some cases, it's all right because there are so many alternative cards in the category of Universe Survival Saga representative of Universe 7. Like, it doesn't even change too much. And that's the difference between Tien and Roshi and UI Goku, which is why Tien and Roshi is not better than UI Goku. There are some situations in pay to play that you don't even run. Tiena Roshi, just because they are a free... At the end of the day, they are a free-to-play unit. With not the greatest link set. All right, man. Putting UI over Tien and Master Roshi, I'm out. Yeah, see ya. See ya later, man. Your opinion don't matter, because your opinion's wrong at this point. Master Roshi, where does he stand in today's meta? Do I think he's better than Frieza? Or do I think... We already know, I've already said this, he's already top two. But where in the spot of the top two does he classify? I might think about this to the day I die. Let's look at Ella Freezer. Ella Freezer, he can't tank, really. Right? We can't say Ella Freezer tanks unless you magically don't get attacked first and you get an additional super attack that gets him the 12 key to greatly raise his attack and defense. That's like the magical moment if for Ella Freezer, right? What he loses in defense has attack power, debuff, and links. So that's Ella, that's Ella Freezer's trope. What is Master Roshi's trope? He's a unique leader. He has stunning. He has ceiling, high damage output, an active skill, defense, dodging, and support. Oh, and Revival, my bad. And Revival. He's a Lynx. It's like... The amount of Lynx that Freezer provides is absolutely insane. At level 10. Compared to if Roshi was level 10 Lynx. And I can see where a pay-to-play player... A pay-to-play player... But you cannot disagree for free-to-play. He has so much utility that you can put him in any spot. And that's what gets me. That's what gets me. They are complete opposites. They work well in every single, in their respective teams. It's too hard sometimes. But at the end of the day, it's a free-to-play tier list. Based on my experiences, based on free-to-play teams. And so because free-to-play tends to die way more than a pay-to-play team does, 
That revival skill is just too much. That stun for Super Battle Road is just too much. It's high damage numbers. It might be maybe a little bit less than Frieza. Just a tiny bit at the end of the day. But it don't matter. Because defense is the best offense. That's the meta we're in. Defense over attack power. And that is my tier list. I think it's pretty balanced. Usually you have most of the characters in the mid range. The lowest in the top range. I'd say very symmetrical. And that's the beauty of it. Symmetrical at its best. Perfectly balanced. As all things should. So yeah, that is my tier list for EZA units. Based on free-to-play teams. Defense is best offense at the end of the day. I will leave the link to the tier list. I'll put it in the description. You'll make your own tier list if it's different to mine. Although this is not my true tier list because I'd do this. There's layers to it. And yeah. See you next time. Uh, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.